Hey, what's going on team? So in the next couple of minutes, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to set up the TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim platform the way that I have it set up. This is not the only way that you can set it up and I'm going to be assisting my friend Weston who started paper trading. I do want to remind you that paper trading is simulation trading. It's not something that I do, but it's something that I would really encourage those that are just getting started. I do want to let you know that just like I did with Weston's account, we call TD Ameritrade and it's just a phone call away. So feel free to Google that number and you jump on a call with them and ask them for real-time quotes, which means that normally there's a 20 minute delay and by opening that free paper trading account, it gives you access to $200,000 of fake money and allows you to practice everything that is that you learn without risking $1. I think that's super important. So if you're simply watching and learning from YouTube videos, if you're enrolled in a course and you want to practice everything that you learn, I still believe that the best way to get started is again, paper trading. So you guys think I'm going too quickly, then slow the video down. Uh, but ultimately, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go for it. So one of the first things that I like to do again, I'm just gonna add a stock and you'll see how it looks. It looks kind of like ugly. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go ahead and under appearance, I'm gonna make sure that we fill the overall bubbles. We click on that, time access. I want there to be an expansion of 200. Um, when it comes down to price, oh, expansion area, this has to be at two. Oh shoot. No, it's time access, yeah, there we go. So this will give us a little bit of space there. Now, let's just make sure that we have all this here. Boom, boom, boom. I wanna click overlap volume, uh, show alerts. I'm gonna click show arrows only, click okay. So now instead of setting a look, when you set an alert, instead of it putting a line across the whole thing, it's just gonna have a little arrow, making it a little bit more clean and simple. But again, you guys can see that there's certain things missing, the MACD, the RSI, the VWAPs, uh, the overall SMA line, and I'm gonna add that in the next two minutes, watch. Ready, set, let's do this. Here we go, so we're gonna go to studies on the right hand side, I'm gonna click edit studies, and this is where I'm gonna search it all up. So simple moving average, or you know, SMA, depending on what brokerage it is that you are using. I'm gonna change the settings in just a little bit, so we'll do that right now. I like to have my setting, again, this is me, not something that you have to do. I like setting it at 180. I like the color to be green. Again, that is preference, not something that you have to set up. The next one is exponential moving average or moving average exponential. It's set up at a length of, at a default of nine, but I'm gonna set mine at a length or um, or change this. Shoot, come on, right here. There you go, I like it with that color blue. Uh, the next one's going to be the MACD. MACD is something that I like set up, uh, to set up. I do play around with it from time to time, but right now I'm just gonna keep it at a default. The next one is the VWAP indicator. Again, if you use TD Ameritrade, this is probably one of the most useful indicators that I personally um, would suggest. And I have a bunch of breakdowns on the Learn Plan Profit Lesson Library. So there we go, boom, boom, boom. As you guys can see, it's gonna look very similar to what you guys see on the left hand side over there. I'm gonna change this and now one of the things that I wanna update this on is the series of different time frames that I have as I have a bunch of custom time frames. So I'm gonna go here to custom list and you have the one day, one minute chart. I'm gonna go here and add some new time frames. I'm gonna add a new time frame. I'm gonna go intraday instead of the one day, one minute chart. I'm gonna do the one day, five minute chart as that could be very useful. I'm gonna add another time frame. Looks like you guys have a pretty good setup here. I'm gonna add a two day. So I'm gonna go intraday, two day here, and then I'm gonna add a five minute chart right here, add. And again, I can just drag and drop these to the ones that are where it is that I want them. So I got the one day, one minute, one day, five minute, two day, five minute, five day, five minute, five day, 15 minute, five day, th uh, 10 day, 30 minute, 20 day, one hour, uh, 184 hour, this, this, this. And I'm just gonna add a big one for all my you know, long-term traders. So I'm gonna do the five year day. And there we go. We have all the different time frames. I'm gonna set that up here. I'm gonna go here to the one day, one minute chart. And guess what? We're all set up. So it's as simple as that. Guys, not very difficult. So again, if you guys want to stay connected and learn a little bit more on how I trade in the stock market, again, I run the largest YouTube channel, largest private Facebook group for those who trade in the stock market. You get to watch me trade live literally every single day. It's something that no one else offers. If first you want to get a taste of what it's like to be able to watch me trade live, I'd encourage you to click that first link in the description. Once you're ready and if you would like to work with me on a closer basis, you get lifetime access to the Learn Plan Profit course designed for complete beginners, you get lifetime access to our private group chat, and you get lifetime access to being able to watch me trade live literally every single day at Market Open Monday through Friday. And that's going to be that second link in the description, of course, after you watch that live trading video. Wish you guys an absolute amazing two. 2019. And like always, let's make sure that we're in the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.